to me personally, I don't know it because I'm not from that area. That would be asking me, hey, man, what do you think about like the German instance of blood guiltiness in regards to the second one? Like, I'm not going to be able to tell you. I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, it, the, you you summarized it though. You know, you know, has an interesting take, and this is like, and actually, again, like I said, Doctor Livingston, he's a you know, he's a Abbeville Institute. He's, you know, he's actually probably the world one of the world's leading authorities on David Hume. He's kind of a you know, personal mentor of mine in a way. And he's an Orthodox Christian. He's an Orthodox convert, and he's like real tied in with Doctor Gottfried. And one of his criticisms of Doctor Gottfried is to get to return. You know, when that, when Gottfried is like, he's like, Marx wouldn't have cared about this transgender. Sorry, oh, that was a close one. But <laughs> the the, I think you Marx, would say transgender on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the that's yeah. the stable word. Yeah. But you know, like like Marx wouldn't have cared about any of this. And I'm like, okay, this is another thing that's sort of interesting about. But Gottfried's he would have. Yeah, yeah, Marx. But he would have. Yeah, Abolition God, of the family. Yeah, Godfrey's Godfrey's generation is sort of K-lined, hard K-lined into this kind of Cold War Soviet Union that was yeah. there was a brief moment in time when it was like a relatively like you know stable bubble of social conservatism. Arguably, kind of, you know, they're still doing insane shit like you know bulldozing fruit orchards because a spreadsheet told them to. But if you go back in the early days, and you know, I was, I love, I love early Soviet lore. I was hanging out with like Charlemagne and Turnip and, you know, Thomas, a couple other, uh, a buddy's lake house recently. And there's a copy of Gulag Archipelago there. And I had never read the Gulag Archipelago there, you know, before. And I sat down and read it and I was like, this is a Marxist text. But you know, the, uh, <laughs> the, hmm. but there, there's all kinds of stuff that goes on in the early Soviet, especially the early Soviet Union. There's one group that, relentlessly fascinates me they're called the legion of the militant godless if you translate this into english and this is a literal not it's a state sponsored but not it's a state affiliated but not state sponsored group that sounds familiar you know mm -hmm. uh that they they get their kicks by doxing christians in the soviet union okay and then you know these people all get sent to the gulags and that sort you know and that sort of thing so like there's no shortage of this just absolutely wackadoodle utopia like one of the first things the bolsheviks do whenever they you know whenever they seize control of the government is they put god on trial and they execute him by firing artillery into the sky <laughs> so, so so you know to to make the claim that you know that that you know marx wouldn't have cared about no, marx absolutely if, has, if marx is around today he absolutely has his pronouns in his, you know, in his, in his Twitter. Oh yeah. There's no, like, there's no, there's no doubt. So that's, that's so the all, all those the trans communists. Article. They're kind of right though. Yeah. yeah. That's the, 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 that's the, you know, the aspect of the Gottfried article that I think <laughs> rings a little hollow. This idea that, you know, like that the Soviet union was this bastion of social conservatism, I even compared was, to now. No, no, it wasn't. no, I think now you can make that case, but not like, at, like, the 90s in the Soviet Union, like the 90s after the Soviet Union, no. During the Soviet Union, certainly not. Um, I mean, I even Stalin's we, reaction by yeah. kicking out most of the original Congress Party members. I mean, just no. Uh, but yet Stalin did secure, in terms of the ethnic base of Russia, he did secure... Well, yeah, this is where you get yeah. Dr. Pohl's bio-Stalinism argument, where like yeah. he... He's basically like, well, we're going to take the core ethnic component of Russians, the Slavs, and we're going to just make sure we have a system in place to keep them on top rather than... And also at the same time... Because well, Russia incur... was always being ruled by minorities before. Well, yeah, but also yeah. at the same time to incur a sort of like ethnogenesis of like, you know, the new Soviet man style stuff. Yeah. And then you start moving a lot of guys into Kazakhstan, although that really changes after December 86, but... Um, that's a whole well, they, other they the whole the discussion. It's a whole other one too. <laughs> yeah, they they did a number in the Chechnyans as well at this time. Um, yeah, but no, but that's what I mean. Like nowadays, like your average like Marxoid that like LARPs on Twitter with like a John Brown avatar, they don't like. They're like, what do you mean that communism had an ethnic component to it? That's that's crazy talk. Like, no, it's yeah, it's true. I mean. Nowadays, I don't know. I I think like yeah, I would agree that Russia is not a bastion of like trad orthodoxy. But never mind. I'm going to start that posting. Um, but, I mean, this goes back to the 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 principal complaint that a lot of people had with Gottfried's article was yeah. That, 
Marxism and all of its iterations from Marx himself, Engels, and his influences to today. Well, this is, is the still, I talked about. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, this is what he made here, um, which was the, the simple and blatant obvious point that every bit of Marxist's iterations, which I think you can find quite clearly in critical theory today, yeah. um, you know, still advocates for complete abolition of all hierarchical structures, you know, and in, in the name of this egalitarian pursuit. Well, there also was in the Soviet Union, even there was sort of like an Andrine character to the workforce that women could like be in the fields with men and uh, other, other things of that nature. Like, I mean, I don't think you could take that and extrapolate that to the full on um, like excesses of like a certain impossible woman, view of the reality that comes from Tavistock and elsewhere. But I, you know, I mean, I think the seeds are definitely there. Well, I, yeah, that's why, yeah. that's why my argument was, is like, if we were to take an ideology and treat it as an organism, which land right. Deleuze, Guattari and others do, right? Yes. Like yeah. you, you're going to have that's to watch. That does before as well. Yes, yeah, he does. So, uh, this, all goes, this all goes back to German idealism.